Hello, hello. Today's a big day. I am putting all of these bits and bobs together to make our big solar system. So here is a small diagram of the big system. So we have uh, my eight panels running in parallel, then a uh, combiner box, and then I'm going to have uh, an 80 amp fuse um, breaker, which then goes to the charge controller, another 80 amp breaker on the other side of the charge controller. I don't know if this one's uh, necessary or not. Um, I don't see how there would be backflow from the batteries to the charge controller, but um, what do I know? <laughs> I learned all of this stuff off YouTube University. So, um, so yeah, this uh, really isn't a how-to video. It's more of a just following me through the setup of uh, my solar. And this is all um, designed with basically watching other people's videos and, and going from there. Um, so then I have my big battery bank. We're going to run... Um, so it's 12 6 volt batteries running series parallel um, to bus bars um, and then joining all of the all of the positive and negatives so we go uh, you know uh, positive negative positive negative positive negative to get all of these in series and then we run them in parallel to each other and apparently um, according to my manufacturer of the batteries, which is Rolls, if you you want to join all of all of the negatives and all of the positives as well, and then you you force the batteries to all stay at the same voltage, um, and like that they will charge evenly because there's a, a lot of talk on the internet about charging um, to not not running batteries in parallel. Um, yeah, so then we have, uh, so coming out to my inverter, 300 amp fuse to the inverter, and I'll also have a cutoff switch over here, and then that running to the house. And we have, these are all my bits and bobs, which today we will be putting together to turn into my big solar system. I have, uh, most of this stuff I've had to send, had uh, sent, sent from the states because you can't get this stuff here you can't get midnight solar i'm in spain um you can't get midnight solar stuff in spain or at least it's very expensive luckily i had a friend bring most of this stuff over for me bus bars and all of this very expensive over here you get them in marine supply stores because that's actually what they're meant for blue sea but they work um so a lot of marine stuff works on DC boats and um, and all that kind of stuff run off DC so you can get a lot of this material in uh, in boat stores which is lucky I've got to make a million joiner cables um, so yeah all the bits and bobs here <coughs> to connect everything together I've got this um, I think this is made by Outback this Outback Flexware combiner box yeah, so this is where all my solar panels are going to come into with uh, 50 amp, 15 amp fuses. All of these I had sent from the States as well. And these are all midnight solar breakers, special DC breakers, which don't ask me why you need special DC breakers, but apparently you do. Um, here in Spain, if you tell them in the, the people who I've spoken to, electricians and... Uh, and shops and stuff are not aware <laughs> that you need special DC breakers for DC applications and they just use normal breakers which I think is a big no-no from the videos I've seen on the internet there's my lovely slippers <laughs> so anyway these are all the bits and bobs um, to set up the solar and so I will be taking you with me through the setup. If you see that I do anything wrong um, or that you think could be better, um, then please let me know in the comments. No doubt you will anyway because everyone is an expert on the internet. Um, 
constructive criticism would be good, such as, uh, you know, oh, if you hooked up the cables this way, then that would be better. Um, criticism such as you should go for a 48 volt system uh, isn't very helpful because I'm running 24 volts um, and that's the way it's going to go. So yeah, constructive criticism is more than welcome. Um, I am not an expert in any way, shape or form. And as I said, I have learnt all of this on the internet. Uh, so yeah, I am not an expert. Let's just quickly go and I'll show you what we're running off at the moment. So at the moment I'm running off these two 12 volt batteries uh, running in parallel. I think they're 220 amp hour batteries. And we have this small Sega, I think it's a 30 amp, 20 amp controller. Stecker, not Sega. Um, and then I'm running off this, I bought this second hand, this HP Compact. Um, it's a 4000 watt inverter, it's a, a real beast of a machine. When I bought it, it had just um, come back from the shop where it had been through its service and everything had been changed and fixed, so like new. And Stecka says that, um, sorry, uh, this is Studer, so German company. They say that this is a, a beast of a machine and um, they, they don't make it anymore, but uh, they make a newer model. But they say that this is a uh, yeah, beast of a machine and it will run for a long time and make me very happy. So far I've had no problems. So we're running off this uh, little system up to now and here I have uh, this uh, Victron battery monitor which is showing a difference in the charge of my batteries at the moment. Oops. Yeah, there's a small difference. I had a bit of a problem with uh, one of the terminals on the batteries. And then we're running all of this off these two 600 watt panels. And so far, so good. We're only running um, basic Wi-Fi and stuff and then we also once a week uh, turn on uh, the washing machine and the water pump runs off this system and so far it's been really good we have a lot of sun here and so we've only had to turn the generator which happens to be sitting down here very small generator on once this winter because it rained for about a week so yeah that's the uh, the general overview and uh, let's